This is our last question for paper 1, November 2020. Harry shoots arrows at a target board. He has 50% chance of hitting the bull's eye on each shot. Calculate the probability that Harry will hit the bull's eye on his first shot and his second shot. We can represent this information on a tree diagram. So we know that Harry will either hit the bull's eye or he will not hit the bull's eye. And he has a 50% chance of hitting the bull's eye. And this now represents his first shot. And then he takes a second shot. And he'll either hit the bull's eye or not hit the bull's eye. And the question says calculate the probability that he will hit the bull's eye in his first shot and his second shot. So we are just concerned about him hitting the bull's eye first and then hitting the bull's eye again. So the probability of hitting the bull's eye first and then second again is 0 0.5 times 0 0.5, which is 0 0.25, or you could say 25%. The second question says, calculate the probability that Harry will hit the bull's eye at least twice in his first three shots. Now in the previous question, we worked out two shots and now we are focusing on the words at least twice for three shots. So let's draw a tree diagram again. So in our first shot, it will be bull's eye or not. Then in our second shot, it will be bull's eye or not. And our other option is also bull's eye or not. If you didn't hit the bull's eye in the first round. And then we include the third shot as well. This will be bull's eye or not. Bull's eye or not. Bull's eye or not. And bull's eye and not. Now, if I write down these outcomes all together, it will be B, 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 or B, B, N. And I continue to follow these trails to write down all the outcomes. Now that we have a full picture of all these outcomes, we can focus on at least hitting the bull's eye twice in his first three shots. So we're looking for outcomes that has at least two B's. So there is one, two, three, four. So these four options satisfies the restrictions of the question. So every option would be 0 0.5 to the power of 3 because hitting the bull's eye and not hitting the bull's eye has a 50% chance. So it'll be 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5. So therefore, the probability of hitting the bull's eye at least twice is 0 0.5 cubed plus 0 0.5 cubed plus 0 0.5 cubed plus 0 0.5 cubed representing our four possible options. And that is equals to a half. So in our last question we have, Blender also has a 50% chance of hitting the bull's eye on each shot. Harry and Blenda will take turns to shoot an arrow and the first person to hit the bull's eye will be the winner. Calculate the probability that the person who shoots first will be the winner of the challenge. So let us assume that Harry is taking the first shot. So he will have a 50% chance of hitting the bull's eye. Now, Glenda shoots and she has the same probability as Harry. But because she is the second shot, it will be 0 0.5 times 0 0.5. Or we could say 0 0.5 squared. Then 
Harry shoots his second shot, but ultimately third in the competition between the two. So it will be 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 raised to the power of 3. Then Glenda shoots, and her probability builds on Harry's previous one, her 50%. So it's 0 0.5 to the power of 4. And now Harry shoots again. So it will be 0 0.5 to the power of 5. And so the pattern continues. But the question says, calculate the probability that the person who shoots first will be the winner of the challenge. That means we only need to focus on Harry's shots, assuming that he has shot first. So Harry's probability of hitting the bull's eye follows this pattern 0 0.5, 0 0.5 cubed, the 0 0.5 to the power of 5. And it will continue indefinitely because there are no limits to the amount of shots that they are taking. So Harry's probability of hitting the bull's eye would be added all together infinitely. Now this is called an infinite geometric series where the A value is 0 0.5 and the ratio is 0 0.5 cubed divided by 0 0.5 which is 0 0.25 or a quarter. So the probability for Harry or the person who shoots first would be an infinite geometric series and that is then 0 0.5 over 1 minus 0 0.25, which is 2 thirds. Or we could say 0 0.67 or 